The question is, how much should I charge for profit? And the example was that um, I charge 25. A lot of people in my market are charging 20. Should I mark my prices up to 31, 25 to compensate for taxes and credit card fees and such? And uh, you know, can I get away with that? So I don't know all the details to be able to really answer the question, so I'm gonna cover what I can. First of all, um, if you're talking about $25, we're talking about small residential properties. We have to be. And so somebody, if somebody in your marketplace or a bunch of guys in your marketplace are charging $20, uh, I'd, I'd completely ignore them. I wouldn't, it wouldn't even be relevant to my consideration of pricing. There's a lot of guys that price that don't have a clue what they're doing. They're generally individuals. And then there's some companies that are pricing low that have no clue what they're doing. And, you know, boy, we could spend a day on pricing. And so just ignore those people. They're irrelevant. They'll cause you a little pain here and there, and you'll lose some business to them here or there, or they'll win some business here and there that you lost because of price. I wouldn't get too caught up in that stuff. So using the $25 example, um, if you're telling, if you're saying that I want to charge $25, but now I've got to pay taxes and I've got to pay credit card fees, so I need to up my rate, then what you were telling me is that the $25 was a rate that you just looked at the marketplace and said, everybody's charging $25, so I'm going to charge $25. I may be wrong, completely wrong here, but that's, but that's what I'm wondering when you tell me that you, you now need to add taxes and credit card fees into this. So... Um, Here's the deal. If you char if you if you are ch charging if you're using you're requiring credit cards of all your clients, it's going to cost you money, 3% roughly of your gross sales to charge all of if you charge 100% of your client base uh, or if all 100% of your client base use credit cards. Now, what I would argue is that you're not going to see a massive run up in cost. Yes, you're paying out 3% of gross revenue, but you're going to now see these additional efficiencies. Better cash flow, you're paying less money in interest on credit cards or lines of credit. Uh, you're getting paid faster. You, um, you are, uh, you're seeing less collections problems. You're writing off less amount of money that you never get paid for. You're getting better quality clients. Your clients um, don't nickel and dime you as much. They stay with you longer. All these factors. So a lot of that stuff offsets this 3% you're paying. Taxes, honestly, I mean, short of property taxes and, and um, franchise taxes, depending on which state you're in, you know, you know, federal taxes, state income taxes, really outside of a pricing equation. Taxes, to me, are they're somewhat of a separate issue. You know, sales taxes pass back to your client. So now you're dealing with federal tax. Federal tax is based on your income, based on how much money you make, how much profit you take out of your business. There's an entire tax game that's going to take place at some point in your business where you're trying to delay taxes, where you're trying to minimize the amount of taxes you pay, where you're buying vehicles and, and equipment and you're straight line depreciating them in one calendar year, yet uh, you finance them and you're really paying them off over time. So I even take taxes out of the equation for pricing. So. Look back at some of the other videos that I've recorded, and while you're thinking about pricing, where you start your pricing is look for the guys in the marketplace that are pricing average to upper average, up average to high. So who are the top, who's pricing in the top 40% of the market? You can start there. That's where you start in price wise. Then you start to learn your numbers and do all those things I've talked about when you job cost. Start tracking how long it takes you to do a job compared to the square footage and start you know, getting a feel for that so that you can determine what you really need to be charging so that you can then up your prices. So when you're first getting started, you're making a number up. And the only way to make up a number is look at what the upper, the guys that are charging more, the guys in the higher price ranges are charging and match them. Then start measuring everything and then adjust your prices accordingly. And if you can get the prices, you'll never adjust them down. So you can sell business all day long and be priced in the top 30% of the market. No problem. If you're, if you're priced uh, near the bottom, then that's seriously bad for so many reasons. So ignore all those guys. 
So don't worry about credit card fees too much. Don't worry about federal tax. That's a that's a um, that's based on how profitable and successful you are. And I don't really budget federal tax into. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't budget federal tax into our pricing. You know, I budget things like overhead and payroll and equipment and trucks and office, which is part of overhead and all that stuff into determining my pricing. So if you need more information, just send us another question and a little more specific and let me know exactly what you're looking for. We'll be happy to answer it again. Thanks a lot.